hello guys welcome back in this video we are going to focus on creating the nav bar of our application as a stand right now as you can see this is what we worked on in the previous video by creating an action and reducer to fetch this data from our store that is from our back end to our store and display it to the UI like that. So as you can see right now, we don't have a way of navigating to different components. So what you are gonna do in this video is to implement React routing. So guys, if you were not following me until this point, um, we have already installed the packages we need for the routing right so this is for the backend package.json file let me let me move into my front end package.json file let me show you the dependencies or the packages we have installed axios react redux and then react router dom so we are going to make use of this package to do routing inside application so if you haven't installed it we can quickly run out or npmi react router DOM. So let's get started. So right now, before we move on, I want to point mm -hmm. out again that I have created HTML templates or a component for our nav bar. So if you head over to um, my GitHub repository, right, let me show you what we have right now is when you go to oh it's even here when you go to the home page of my github repository i'll provide a link below so when you click on click on commits and number three is html now by html template so you can click this code icon and then you go to front end and src and components and nav bar component and the uh, navbar.js all right so you copy the whole of the syntax semantic here and this is bootstrap navbar you can copy all of them copy it and then go back to your application and right now i already have it so you go to src component you see i have navbar so you can create a folder navbar and one file called navbar and then you, you paste what you've copied here. So this is the um, HTML um, semantic for the navbar. So quickly, let me quickly brief you, go take you through what you have right now. So let me even display it. I want to show it on the screen, what you have right now. So when you go to app component, where I'm rendering my component. So instead of books, let me remove the books. I want to show you um, the state of our navbar right now and i'll quickly um, explain what we've done so when you save it and then you go to our application as you can see we have this navbar so let me remove the book uh, on line 10 let me remove it and as you can see this is what we have right now okay and it's doing nothing it just started there's like that all right so as you can see my bootstrap okay everything is working now correctly all right, so let me quickly take you through what you have done so far. So when you go to the nav bar, right, we have a header and that wraps the whole of my component like that, right here. And you see, I have BK, that's book. Um, the, this is one, there's a link, nav link here and a button, okay? That is a toggle, this button is hidden. So when you when you have a, um, a low screen size of your um, browser, you see the nav icon. That is what we have there. And we have home, this one. And then we have about. And this about, when you click on it, as you can see, it opens a pop-up model of additional um, component, or let me say HTML syntax. So let me move this one so instead of moving up and down like that. All right. So the next one is a button about, and on this button, as you remember in the previous video about creating a form, we made we talk about the data target. 
the data target gives a unique name and when it click on it will look at a day that's a particular id of about and you to open that so as you can see this is what i'm opening the this div okay up so as you can see it has an id of about when i change this one to even a and i save it you see that i don't have that kind of placement let me save it and then click on it as you can see because it's not targeting the data target here but if i change it to a here and let's save it let me click on it refresh my browser click as you can see we have it back so that is it so let me change it back to a normal one about and then we have the app functionalities i when you click on this what we have register and the next one will be the next um, register user what is it um this one is there and we have update profile and login user dashboard so this one is under this one um what is my user dashboard okay i'll come back to that all right so when you take a look at the semantics we can see list of books uh, many more and developed by anybody sorry this is for the sorry this is for the um this tip right as you can see user dashboard list of users and the last one developed by anybody and so this this here ends the actual um div here this one right and then the actual list of the menu start from books which is this one started from book here and add book this one and so forth and so on but when you scroll down i made some conditional uh, display the drop down i only want a login user who has looking to have this drop down so by default I make it available. That's why I make this conditional rendering. Say like true. If it's true, then it should display this. So as we proceed on, and then we create the user um, authentication, we we'll pull the user from our store and check if the user logs in. If the user logs in here, then we we'll go ahead and display this one. But for now, let's leave it as that. And we have the couple of the drop down, and then the form here, like that, and. All right, so that is it for the nav bar. So as, can, as I, I always say, you can ignore the styling and go by your own way, but um, the main concept is most important. All right, so let's get started about the routing part. So React, um, React Router DOM is not part of React. It's a third-party third package that helps us to do routing inside application because React is an EP application. So let's head over to our main file. That is the app.js file here, and this is where you're going to do the routing. So when you install the React Router DOM, we have a nice um, tools or nice functions that help us with the routing. So quickly, let's import what we need. From one is um, browser router. I think I don't have the auto import. So let me quickly import it here. React Router DOM. And in here, when you destructure it, let me grab browser router. And the next one I need is a route to, to render my component and my switch. Okay. So I have to wrap the whole of my div, the whole of my component with browser router so that it can inject most of the methods and functions from this router, React Router DOM. So any component that is rendered by the browser router, we have some additional functions like um, history, location, that is injected into the sub, in the children component by behind the scene. So let me wrap this one with, um, first of all, let me even have um, React Fragment for the meantime here. And inside here, let me wrap my browser router like that. And in there, I will inject my com my component like that. And saying this, this header will be available in all my pages. I don't need to put it inside my route. So what I'm going to do next is um, have to make use of switch. Okay. Um, if you're not familiar with um, React Router, there's more tutorials on YouTube. You can have a look at that. And in future videos, I'll make a video on how to use React Router DOM if you don't know how to use it well. All right, so let's move on. So inside my switch, then I can return or I can render my individual route. 
okay so i want to have a safe query syntax here and this route takes in the path and the path the first one will be exact let it be exact exact means that when you provide exact and you see for example this path right and the next one maybe you give it maybe a home slide dungeon if you don't give it exact path you can see that all the components will render but what i do is that to avoid complication and some bugs i always put exact in front of all my component uh, routes like that so the, the first case is i want to have a way of what getting all the books so i can say when a user go to books okay what do i do i want to render a component called books components let me see if i have the auto import given there like that so let me head over to so the purpose when i go to my home route and select books i can see my book component being rendered so let's try let me refresh it and let me head over to and say books this way as you can see now i have my books being rendered as expected so next will be what do i have what oh, i have components two components right books create books so the next component i'm gonna make use of is called add book okay like i mean copy this one and change the path only and change the component so here i'll make use of add book okay and then what do i need here is add book let me see let me get add book yeah it's add book this one all right so let me make use of um add book save it and let me go to slash <coughs> add book add book like sorry one more all. and nothing have nothing happens what is a problem the add book component let me see the add book this form but why isn't that opening add book exact power add book let me copy the path well i think i didn't save it and then let me put it here and then save it right i have it when i click on this one as you can see i have the form open so instead of putting manual like this one to have a link that targets to the individual ones so for now you work on the books and add book so let's head over to um the navbar itself and locate where we have this about this one books and add book and then we can link to the respective route so let me head over to navbar and scroll up and then scroll down where you will see this is for the the pop-up window so scroll down until you will see um add book so here ends the book as you can see the list menu items and here the first one is books and i will make use of books to that but each um each tag don't have to property so i can make here of ref href to that and let's try save it let me head over to let me even cancel this one here and then let me add books as you can see but when i click as you can see some refresh i don't want that so react router dom give us a nice way of doing that so i have to import what is called link from react router dom so instead of using the native href tag i'm gonna use the link from react router dom react router dom and then here let me grab the link like that so where i'm having the add book scroll down on dvc list menu items and here instead of h link let me make it l link and this one i set a property called two so i make here two like that and let's try so as you can see when i click on books let me head over to home here and when i click on books as you can see when i click on add book nothing comes so the same thing i have to wrap this one to with link and i've already provided two already so we don't need to provide if you don't have it you have to provide two right so add book as you can see and books so now we have this and this um features working and as you move on we work on the users and we can have other features and um, a route to go to users and logout and other stuff
right so guys this is how you do the routing inside application so in the next video we will start working on the users and we create a form to re register a user and log in and creating our action and reduces to there for us so guys thanks for watching and catch you up in the next video